Hello and welcome to Ian Pool. Today we're going to have a look at some side spin shots, uh, left and right side. So uh, here we're in a position where we're snookered on the red, and you want to hit the cue ball on the left there, or 9 o'clock if you look at the cue ball as a, a clock face. You can see there the spin takes effect after it uh, bounces off the cushion. So we'll watch that again. Left on the side. And of course, uh, if it was the other side, the red was on the other side, um, use right hand side. So here I'm going to show uh, the effect the cue ball has um, with some side spin after you've uh, hit an object ball, uh, followed by hitting the cue ball off the cushion. I'm going to put a few chalk marks on the table there just to show that they're in the same place each time I set them up. So this is just showing where the cue ball ends up if you use no side spin whatsoever. And now I'm going to put right hand side on the uh, cue ball, or 3 o'clock if you look at it as a clock face. Um, and you'll see it straighten up a bit more after you've hit the uh, object ball. As you can see that's going along the line. And next uh, you'll see the left hand side spin effect. Because of the way the angle is for the pot, the cue ball will come off more of an angle. So these are really helpful for um, setting yourself up for your next shot. So for her example, I'm going to play right inside on the cue ball. Um, great for the next shot. And what I'll do is I'll set up the uh, yellow and the cue ball in the exact same places. This next time, no spin whatsoever. And you can see it comes up, uh, comes off the cushion at more of an angle. And finally, left on the side. Bring in the cue ball all the way down the table. Perfect for the next ball. It's a good way to practice your spin shots and uh, hope it works out for you. Thanks for watching.